Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Caroline, and、um, today I'm going to show you guys how I made a Victorian dress, a fancy Victorian dress from the 1890s. Now, I used the Patterns of Fashion 2 book, the Janet Arnold book,、um, for this dress, and I closely followed this pattern right here. And I modified it a bit. I didn't want a back closure because I learned from the last dress I made, the Victorian vampire outfit, that、um, I can't do it up myself because I'm by myself putting on a costume. <laughs> like, I don't have a maid. So,、um, yeah, I need to be able to close it. And also gave me a chance to work with some hidden closures, which, is, which I actually really enjoyed. And I plan to do a lot more of、um, because they're really fun and you can make it way easier on yourself to put on the dress. Okay, so here is the design.、Um, I did end up changing it a little bit.、Um, it has a kind of a tie thing in the front. I ended up changing that. But overall,、um, it's. Pretty much the same. I tried to make the, the front of the skirt a little more elaborate. I don't know if I should have done that.、Um, I don't know, but、uh, I, I like how it turned out in the end, so I hope you guys like it.、Um, Alright, l so basically, the fabrics that I, the, the, how I came up with this dress was number one, I wanted to make an Anne of Green Gables sort of Christmas ball inspired dress. You know, the famous part where she gets the puff sleeve dress. I wanted to make a similar thing to that, you know, like a puff sleeve dress. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. And I had all the, I have a bunch of different silks、um, saved because what I do when, when my, I have a local,、um, Discount fabric store that I go to that is really, really good. They have silks like $5, $6, you know what I mean? And、um, they'll be really beautiful, but they really don't have that many、um, uh, bolts of it, you know what I mean? Like, because it's the end of the line, so they, you know, want to get rid of it. So I only have, you know, two or three yards of these fabrics. But the, the nice thing about the Victorian time was they really did a lot of mixing different kinds of fabric, different kinds of silk. So all the things I used、um, for this. Project are silks, except this one sort of brocadey looking thing, which I got at Joanne Fabrics. I'm not really sure what it is, but I think it's decent quality. But um the rest of it was all silk, which was the first time I ever did that.、Um, so that was fun. And they're all, I got them all pretty cheap, $5 a yard.、Um, I just kept hoarding a little stash.、Um, that's what you know, I usually do. So, what I did was、um, I took the Patterns of Fashion book and I just literally that same pattern I you know, scaled up. How you read the book is one little box is equal to one inch. So, you can scale it up that way. So, I scaled it up and、um, I literally sewed the pieces together. I did not modify that yet, okay? Because I, th I thought it would be around my size anyway.、Um, so here I am trying on the mock up without the sleeves. And I'm just putting the darts on, on myself.、Um, that, that seemed to be the only thing I had to really modify was the placement of the darts.、Um, I did like, you know, mark out where they were, but I modified it. I ended up making it a lot of higher than it was. Obviously, I'm wearing my corset underneath this too. Um, so, when you guys do it, I would do that. So, yeah, I just,、uh, you know, modified it just a little bit. And then here I am. I,、uh, I, I, I wanted to make sure it fit, you know, when I modified the darts. And also, I had this idea that I would make the sleeve hole smaller, which I sort of regret now after learning a few things. There's my kid, and she's so precious. She always, I didn't even know she was there when I was making this video. She's always trying to be near me every second, all the time, because she loves me so much. And she's so cute and precious. Oh, I love her so much. Look how small she looks by the thing. It's so cute. Anyway,、um, back to the video.、Um, all right, so、uh, I basically, one side of the, I just, you know, For one side of the bodice, I did the you know, thing. I wasn't gonna 
do it for both of them I find that sort of redundant and then here's where I think I made a mistake but I mean at the end it didn't really matter that much but I learned some things about sleeves like the way Victorians had the smaller armholes but that the reason why was because it has like a, it's supposed to have this Victorian shoulder shape which is supposed to make your shoulders really narrow looking by making the top part of the you know where your shoulder is smaller and it's supposed to go out to like a diagonal towards the um you know armpit which modern sleeves it more goes straight down or something i think or it goes like a straight line up from like the boob up to the shoulder so i i i, I, I didn't change it that much so i think it still you know had the look but next time i'm not gonna do this because I'm under the impression, oh, I need to make this sleeve hole bigger because I need more movement, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think that you do. <laughs> okay, it's just like, drop the thing. I don't think that you do. So, um, yeah. Next time, I will not be doing that. And this is the mock-up for the sleeve. I'm, I'm not going to show every little bit for the for the mock-up because I'm showing much more in detail when I actually make the dress. Um, this has an undersleeve and like an oversleeve, and it has an interesting, you know, way. I think that the 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 bodice turned out like a pretty nice fit. Um, yeah, it it looks pretty good. It's floofy enough. Floofy, floofy. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just trying to remind myself that there's no perfect way of making these things. Just because, you know, it's in this book, it doesn't mean there weren't other garments that don't exist anymore. And here's the skirt. I, I, I didn't modify this, um, like, the closure or anything like that for the actual gown. I only lengthened it. So, do I like how it turned out? I don't know, really. Um, yeah, I liked it, but... I just feel like Enchanted Rose costuming, which helped me with this, like, because she made, like, a similar gown, turned out so much better and cooler. So I don't know why, what I did wrong. Anyway, something to improve on next time. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for watching. This is just the mock-up stage and uh i i'm going to in the next video it's gonna be me actually starting to make it um and then uh i think i'm gonna do two videos part one or the first part's gonna be the bodice the second part's gonna be the skirt and i was trying to make this for a victorian christmas ball but i didn't end up going because i didn't finish it in time and i literally spent like two day whole days holed up in there in my room just making this dress and i was like seeing like I couldn't even see straight in the end of it, so. Um, but I, I, I do like how the end turned out. I, I hope I can get some nice pictures, like, of it that look decent. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this in any way, um, please consider subscribing and consider supporting me on my Patreon. Thank you so much. Oh, and I forgot to mention, thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Like, I can't, I'm so shocked, honestly. Um, but I, I, I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, so many people. Um, but uh, I was going to like be like, oh, I'll say thank you for, you know, 100. Then I'll say thank you for this number. And then it just got more and more and more. So, um, but thank you so much for, for watching it and subscribing. It really, really, really means a lot to me. Um, because I do put a lot of work into these things and um, stuff like that. And it, it really means a lot. So thank you.